Does horror screenplay structure different from drama? I don't necessarily think so. I mean, I think all screenplays kind of follow the basic three act, kind of save the cat kind of structure. I think the biggest difference with horror is is they do want kills pretty frequently. So, you know, the the standard rule is like every 10 pages they want to have either a really scary scene or a kill. Um, so in drama, it's not like you have to have like a super dramatic moment every 10 minutes. Like you can have, you can build the drama and you can still do that in horror as well. But a, a lot of times just the formula, at some point, you know, I can't tell you how many projects I've been on where they're like, hey, it's been a while since somebody died. <laughs> yeah, nobody's died here in a while. So uh, they want to throw another death in there. So then you have to add in a character to kill off. So, um, right. but you know, I think all the screen, you know, it's like, I think comedies are very close to horror because it's always building up to a joke and horror you're building up to a kill. But with comedies, it's a lot, it's a lot of, you know, more jokes. And with horror, again, you have more of a, a pacing with your, with your kills. Um, but they all do follow the same general structure, but usually, you know, the joke in horror when it's like, well, what's this character's motivation? It's like to get away from the guy with a knife. You know, it's like, that's pretty much it for a lot of horror. Right. Well, I'm dating myself with all this, but I think it seems like Friday the 13th, there were definitely more kills. But if you look at like Carrie, which I know you brought that up, that yeah. she doesn't really get her revenge until the very end, which it would have been nicer to see her do it sooner. Right, right. And then The Exorcist... That I took guess, a long time. Yeah. But The Omen was pretty... That's the thing is like, they, yeah, movies... And it's all, they blame it kind of on, on ADD now. Everybody's like, you know, so overly, you know, overloaded with information that they can't concentrate. So that they act like the quiet movies don't work anymore. But then you see something like Get Out, which was definitely not like a gore fest at all. Or even like the early Conjuring films, like didn't have like, you know, a lot of like, it wasn't like a kill every 10 minutes. So people still want to go see a good story and they like suspense and dread. Um, but it really depends on what, what you're writing, if you're writing a splatter kind of Friday the 13th movie, which for that one, they just want blood and pretty people getting hacked up. <laughs> um, and, or if you're doing like a conjuring, which is more like they want, people want to go on, you know, just feel that dread and jump and scream and, you know, without the body parts flying around. Right. I think Nightmare on Elm Street too, there was many more kills, but I was just yeah. wondering if the kills have increased now because of yeah. what you're saying. Yeah, ADD. I think it, it depends on the filmmaker. Like, I think if a studio is behind something, they definitely want to kind of stick with formula and, and make sure. I mean, I've had that note on a couple of projects I've written. I, mean, I did, I did, I'm finishing one for a French company, and um, they're, they, I have more Leo with them because they're, you know, they're, they let me develop the character a little bit more than I think I would if this was if it was an American film. But I still have enough good scares in there, but there's not a lot of like gore. Um, and I again, and I love writing gory stuff, and I love writing non-gory stuff too. So I think it's just fun to try to scare people in ways that I haven't seen them get scared before.